didn't understand what it was at first. We'd call people and we'd say, hello, we're from Evening Magazine on Channel 4. And people would say, who, what, what, what are you? We would say, we're not a news program. We were fresh. No one had ever seen anything like us before. I mean, there was only one other magazine on the air, and it was 60 Minutes, and we weren't 60 Minutes either. Plus, magazine shows had, had not been invented yet. We invented them. Good evening, everyone. I'm Marty Sender, and this is Robin Young. And we'd like to welcome you to Evening, the MTWTF show. And that stands for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And that means that we'll be here and just about everywhere else in New England every weeknight at 7.30 on TV4 with something brand new for Boston television. We didn't know what it was going to be. It was sort of like we made it up as we went along. been this revolution in television that had been an introduction of a brand new kind of camera that could use videotape and you could take it out in the field with you so it was much easier than film. Just take your time, plenty of time. It's probably what I'm proudest of is that we were able to demonstrate the flexibility and the creativity that that equipment gives you. a big battle over this time slot, 7.30 at night, and all of these things came together along with a group of 25-year-old kids, that's what we were, and they handed us these cameras. The ground is very far away, and I want out. I'm scared. I'll admit it, straight out, sweaty fear has got me in its grasp. There's no feeling that I have ever had that compares to looking out into 5,000 feet of air and just sort of throwing my body out into it. Go! Art! Woo! Oh, my Lord, I did it! And then, of course, we had to do it again because the audio failed on the first time down. So he had to do it again. He had to jump out of an airplane twice! Oh, wow! I did it! What a leap into the void! Holy mackerel! It was definitely a fun and entertaining show, but we also did a lot of what I'd call public affairs pieces, and that's where I really, that's, that's where I found a real passion. Our house is a very, very, very fine house. We helped build one of the first Ronald McDonald houses, which is a home where families who, whose children had cancer, um, these were where the families could go. Then you say, why me? Mm -hmm. I don't know why me. There must be a purpose in my life somewhere. I don't know what it is. Lou Sternberg was confined to, had been confined to a bed since um, 55, paralyzed with polio. One of the most striking people I've ever met. These were the stories that, you know, although they weren't primarily what Evening was known for, these had the most impact on me. moment will be in our department as we continue our second there are more chocolate chip cookies per square foot in Daniel Hall than there are anywhere else in all of downtown Boston hi I'm Martin Shecky well the tipsters brought real information to the show Ron Robin um, Dave Maynard oh gosh um, Rob Roy McGregor And then, of course, another wonderful person who came in as the show progressed was Joyce Colhaywick, this bright English teacher. I was a school teacher, and I had quit my job, and I didn't know what I was going to do, so I was exploring a lot of different possibilities, and television was really just one of them, and I heard about an audition on a show called Evening Magazine. This is known as a Chironia Tritonis. But if you I had no experience on television. I had never done anything like this before. So I was walking away from the audition thinking, I've really made a fool of myself. When Tom Houghton jumped out of the truck, he was the producer, and said, I think you've got something we're looking for. 
And I thought, what? Within a week they called me and asked me to sit down to lunch and told me that I had this job on Evening Magazine as a contributor three times a week and producing my own segments. And I did something called the Discovery Segment and an instant weekend. And then a spot called What's Hot. Ah, good evening, I'm Joyce Kilhaywick. And tonight in What's Hot, we're going to talk about space. space. So that, that's what I did, but I really figured in the beginning that it was something that would last about six months and then I would get a real job and it turned into the rest of my life.